Hey fellas, this is going to be two parts. I'm going to show you this first part and then I'm going to make the repair and then I'm going to show you the second part after the repair is done. I'll try and take a bunch of stills uh, in between to, so that you can see what's going on. But the problem is that my 4 to 1 gearbox stripped out. Um, I don't think you're supposed to do that. Anyway, that's the second time this tank has stripped out a gearbox right there. These are those zinc alloy gears. The only reason I got those in there is because it's 4 to 1 gearbox. And some of you might remember me asking a bunch of questions about ratios and stuff like that. And the best I can come up with is that in the 3 to 1, which is what these are, um, in between the pinion on the motor and the gear on the axle, there are three gear shafts that hold the gears, okay? One, two, three. These are four to ones that are in here. They have an extra shaft. You'll see that in the next part. So anyway, like I said, it stripped it out once before and I, uh, I took out another gear and replaced it and it stripped it out again. So I'm thinking, I've got these black steel gears here and as far as I can tell so far, the only difference is that the four to one has this extra shaft right here. I think everything else lines up just right. There's no reason why I can't take these gears out of this gearbox and put them in this gearbox. The only thing that'll still be zinc will be the uh, the number four shaft, I guess you'd call it, and the gear on the axle. But I can probably change that too if I really want to. Uh, these are not the same. That's another thing that's different is that the four to ones have bearings instead of bushings. These are the three to ones. They've got the bushing for the axle. The four to ones, I don't know if you can see down in there right here, they have the bearing for the axle. Okay, so I'll strip this thing apart and uh, change the gears and all that crap and then I'll get back with you, man.